Hello folks, welcome back. We're back out fishing again. Um, I've come down to uh, Clone, Clone or Clone, Clone Wexford. Um, we've been fishing, we've been fishing for a few hours and I didn't set the camera up because conditions were terrible to be honest with you. So we didn't know if we were going to stay or not. If Carl's up the other end of the beach with me. Well, I think he's moved down. Yeah, he moved down. There's a few fellas fishing here and there's a few still fishing here. But I've had two uh, hounds so far. It's just, it's coming up to, it's coming up to high tide. Yeah. It's a uh, high tide. In about five minutes time, it's starting to get dark, so the hounds should uh, turn on, I'm hoping. And some bass as well. I'm fishing three rods. They did have a top rod out, but I've changed it now. I'll put a pulley on it. Um, and I'm going after the hounds. I want to try and get a big hound. So, have a look. That's the setup there that I have today. So, we have the Ziplex with the Mag Elite. That's the one there on the right. That's the Elite. Well, the first multiplier that I ever bought. That's paired up with the Conifex Conoflex Ballistic. And the Ziplex there. And then on the, on the stand over there, I'll have my fix bill. Um, and that's lobbed in close with Logan Rag on it. Carl is up there. Setting up his other rod. So I have, yeah, so I had the fix bill in close, Logan Rag on it. It, uh, it does cast, but not as good as these ones. Uh, they're out at the maximum distance. Uh, funnily enough, uh, we have Rag, Logan, Peeler, Crab. And we get no interest on the Peeler. I've caught the two hounds on rag um, so what I've done is so I had one rod out for the hounds caught the first one on rag and then I changed over to peeler and nothing on four or five casts and put on some rag and straight away got a hound and now I think I've a bit of interest on the right hand rod here so anyway less of the talk and more the fishing we'll bring you back um, when we're bringing in and baiting up and hopefully we we'll catch a few fish. Whoop. So if you see what happened there, Helm picked the bait up and one of the grips came forward with it, but um, it didn't hook it. It didn't hook it unfortunately. And we set it back down. I've been doing that quite a bit lately. When I started catching them last year, they were just hammering hammering the bait, boom, 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 Pull, nearly pulling the rod in. But this year they seem to be uh, picking the bait up and coming forward with it. So we keep an eye on that rod. There you see. Bugger. Yeah, now that the bait, now that the grip is out, 
at the mercy of the tide, so. It's coming on to darkness, so maybe, maybe we might be in for a few fish. So maybe we might be in for a few fish. Picked it up after the hound went at it, but that wouldn't pull me legs out. I'm gonna get a picture of this for the competition. The Southside Angling competition that I've entered. Not sponsored or anything like that, but so I'm gonna deal with this one. And then get the rod back out.
So, third hound of the session, and I'm glad I got one on camera. Little small hound, sturdy one, beautiful fish. Don't know how much of the fudge you've seen, I was rebating the other rod, and this one hopped off. Managed to get him though. So we get him on hook to give you a proper show then after that. Oh, oh, feisty. So, here we go. Starry smooth hound on rag, out as far as I could cast it. So we'll get this one released. Other rod still fishing. Got my bass rod on the ground over there, I was rebaiting that. You know, it's typical. We get this one released. So excellent, that one went back in there. Always keep an eye on the shoreline. You have a tendency to swim back in to get a bit disorientated, I'm sure. So I'll keep my eye on the shoreline for the next five or 10 minutes anyway. Um, trying to get you in there out of the wind. That's what I'm trying to do. We got this one baited back up and cast back out. folks this has to be the smallest hound I've ever caught. It was tiny, the size of him. And he took a trio hook. So I've been trying to get a bite on camera all evening and it's not working out for me. But we are trying. So three hound, Carl's last one, flounder, no bass. So um, what time is it? It's an hour after high tide. Yep, an hour after high tide. 
we'll give it a little bit longer. It's only half hand, so give it a half an hour. hour. Uh, and if it goes quiet, then we'll go home. Right, we'll bring it back, get back to fishing. So, right at the last cast, we get this beauty. Literally was the last cast. Let me get a bit of light in the subject. Literally the last cast. And it's uh, 90 centimetres. Lovely big fat head in it. So, the tree that's four. That's four of them we've caught. All different sizes. That's the biggest out of the whole lot. So we get this one back and get wrapped up. 